hello guys and welcome back to the channel now guys it looks as though the joke carries on in the comedy central that is called nigeria sometimes you wonder if you don't laugh you will cry when it comes to matters of that country so guys i bring you this nobody complained i stole their money this is patience uh, jonathan good luck uh, jonathan's wife nobody complained that i stole their money so this is what she has to say for the millions of dollars that were found in her account so this is the body of the story patience wife of former President Goodluck Jonathan on Friday urged the Federal High Court in Lagos to order the release of the 5.7 million and 2.4 billion seized from her by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission. Her lawyer, Chief Ifedayo Adedipe San, urged Justice Mojisola Ola Torogun to dismiss the application by the EFCC, praying that the money be permanently uh, forfeited to the federal government. Adedipe argued that it was wrong for the EFCC to regard the money as proceeds of crime when, when patients had committed no crime and when nobody complained that their money was missing. Now let's pause there for a moment and examine that. So now they found this money with patients Jonathan and they are saying now that they are going to seize it but then they've not said that a crime was committed that she stole this money from this person or this is how she got this money illegally they're just saying that this large sum was found with her in her bank account and therefore they are wanting it forfeited to the federal government so now this is the thing with the EFCC is this their lack of uh, competence really that works against the crime uh, the fight rather against uh, corruption because you can't just say because somebody has a lot of money therefore they have to forfeit it and you can't then also say that somebody has a lot of money they have to prove the source it is you that has to prove that a crime has been committed so really this is why they are likely to look to lose rather the case but let's carry on He said patients received the money as gift when her husband was in office, which is a reasonable explanation, uh, gratuity and all that. Adedipe said such monetary gifts is normal. He contended that Section 17 of the Advanced Fee Fraud, which EFCC relied upon to seize patients' money, was only applicable to fraudsters. He said, it is not the law that if the EFCC finds money in an account and he doesn't like the owner's face, he can't comes to court and say forfeit it. The government is at liberty to apply for forfeiture, but the offense must be stated. Adedipe said there is no jurisdiction for the money to be forfeited to the federal government since the EFCC had not proved that patients stole the money from the government or any individual. All that the EFCC said was that they saw the money in a, they saw the money in her account and assumed that it was stolen. They didn't say from whom. And this is really where the problem is, as we discussed earlier. Also, Mike Ozokome San, who appeared for Lawari Furnitures and Bat, who account were also frozen said the 2.4 billion found in their client's account was legitimate Ozakeme said the company was into the import and export of furnitures he said it is settled law that suspicion no matter how grave can never amount to legal evidence to prove the guilt or culpability of anyone either in criminal or civil proceedings they have not brought anybody to complain that money is missing it is not a crime for lawari furniture and bats to have made money but counsel to the EFCC, Mr. Rotimi Oyedepo, insisted that the money was proceeds of crime. He said the five million was not the first respondent patient's legitimate earning. She was a public servant and a salary earner. The sum cannot be her legitimate income. We urge the court to agree with us and forfeit the sum to the federal government. He said the bank account in which the 2.4 billion was found was shrouded in mystery and fraud. He added that a director of Lawari Furniture and Bath, Mrs. Oyewole Yemisi, when, uh, when questioned by the EFCC, claimed not to know anything about the company and that her signature was forged. Mr. Justice Ola Toregun adjourned the case until the 24th of June for judgment. So there you have it. Now, really, I'm not really for uh, patient Jonathan, and I'm pretty certain that the money is found in our account, our money is from our bribery and corruption, and certainly illegitimate. But the fact that the money is almost certainly illegitimate is not enough of a reason for you to say forfeit it to the government. It is left to the government then to
to prove that the co that the money rather was gotten through illegitimate means this is how the law works you can't just say somebody is suspicious then lock him up you know this is not the sort of uh it's like a banana republic mindset isn't it and this efcc really is not really fit for purpose because they just launch at something without any thinking or legal backing and then they fail at the court and then they blame the judicial system for not backing their war against corruption when you've not prepared enough of a case for for a judge to take a, a ruling in your favor this is the nonsense it is that we are having to contend with uh, in nigeria so it's a patient jonathan efcc missing monies and badly prepared case our conversations for this uh, particular video so come join me in the comment section but before you do that click on the red subscribe button so it turns gray bell button that way you're notified every time i drop a new video then come join me in the comment section let me know what you are making of this so i'll leave you here meet you in the comment section but here i say peace